Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to look into how to change the data source in a Looker Studio report. Before we go straight to the point, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. Let's go straight to the point. There are two ways to change the data source. So here we have a test report with some metrics that they come from my own website. And let's say that I want to change the data source. So one thing you can do is you can simply click on any scorecard, any graph, any chart, any basically visualization that you have in the Looker Studio report individually. Then you're going to go on the right hand side and under the setup column data source, you're going to click here in your data source. You're going to click on add data and then from here, you are going to change the data source. You are going to select any data source that you like, but let's look into working with Google Analytics 4. So we're going to select here Google Analytics. I'm going to connect the demo account, for example. So I'm going to click on demo account, select GA4. Then I'm going to click add here. And that's it. So now I have basically this scorecard here that is pulling data from a different data source, right? So this scorecard here, Sessions, is pulling data from the GA4 Google Merchant Shop. And the rest of the scorecards here are pulling data from a different data source, which is my own website. Now, should you do this one by one? Not necessarily. So what you can do is you can maybe, for example, grab all the scorecards you can go here and you can do the same in bulk. So you can add data. You can come here to Google Analytics. You can click on the demo account. You can select whatever data source you like. And you can change, for example, the data source for all the scorecards. Now, you can do this with visualizations that are of the same type, for example, scorecards or let's say bar charts, right? If you don't want to do this manually, so let's say, for example, here that I'm going to change back to my own website, there is a second option that is more convenient. So you have here, for example, a report. And if you want to save time, you're going to go all the way up to page. You're going to click here on page. You're going to click on current page settings. And then here you're going to go on the right hand side under setup and where it says data source, you're going to click it, select add data go and select the data source that you like. So again, I'm going to select the demo account. I'm going to add it. And that's pretty much it. What this means is that now we said to the system that this entire Looker Studio page, we want it to pull data from the GA4 data source, right? And this is a lot faster. So one more time, you're going to go to page. You're going to click on current page settings. And then you are going to go here under setup and you're going to select the data source that you like. Everything that you have on this page is going to adhere to the data source that you select. So if, for example, here now I come and I say, no, I don't want this data source. I want the data source from my own website. Then everything will refresh back to my own website. And this is very convenient because keep in mind something that I always forget. And that's why I'm going to add it to this video. So a lot of the times, for example, I have filters like drop down lists, right? So I have a drop down list here and let's say this is a, a device category filter, right? So when you go and you change the data source individually, very often what happens to me is that I forget to change the data source for my drop downs, right? Because the drop down also has a data source here. So then I try to actually play around with my drop down menus. And I'm like, okay, why the data are not refreshing? And I remember I didn't change the data source for my dropdown. So the option of going to page here and changing the data source from basically the setup here to something else is going to be easier because at the same time, you're not going to change only the data source for, uh, let's say, your scorecards. You are also going to change the data source for your drop down menus, right? So that's how you can change the data source. And maybe a couple more information. Some people ask, can I insert data from a different data source, meaning different type? So here I have Google Analytics data. 
can I actually go and insert data from Google Ads or maybe from Google Sheets? The answer is definitely yes. So the same thing, you can actually click on whatever elements you want. You can click on the data source here. You can add data maybe from Google Ads or from Google Sheets. So you can have a page in Looker Studio that pulls data from multiple data sources. The only downside is it's going to be a little bit slow. That's something perhaps that Google needs to fix. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So hope you like the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for subscribing, first of all, and have a great day in any time zone. Thank you, everyone.